this is a very very long awaited video and I think all of you have really been looking forward to this one because to be honest um, the last one I made is very very outdated and needs to be freshened up so this is the new series on how to build vehicles on Roblox or as you may know in the CSG engine um, so first of all I have to make all of you aware of something and that is I have been away for about a month now um, and I the only thing I have been active in really is my discord the thing is is that I have been going through really difficult times lately and um, some of it has to do with relationships and some of it also has to do with me having a serious form of COVID and that being uh, I was literally not up to make any videos um, I'm still not really back to normal as I'm only on day three of COVID but I was I'm bored in my bedroom and I was like why not help the community out so that's what I'm going to be doing so yeah hope all of you enjoy this one so this is going to be part one out of multiple parts on how to how to build vehicles. We're using the Roblox CSG engine. So first of all, we're going to talk about the CSG engine. And because I have seen a lot of people complain that there have been multiple CSG engines and there are multiple CSG, engine, CSG engines to come out. So there is CSG one, two and three. When I mean three, there isn't really a third one, but there is one that is going to be coming out very soon. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So CSG1, as I call it, or CSG2, as you as others may call it, is the default CSG engine that everybody uses in when you download Studio and when you open it. So it's this just normal CSG engine that everybody uses, very easy to use, model, negate, Union, there you go, that's the CSG engine, creates a union. But there is a new one that came out and that is in beta testing, which if you go into file, beta features, there is one called CSG version three. And this is in very, this is in very early testing. It's the brand new CSG engine that Roblox has released. And you all may think that I'm going to be wanting all of you to choose this one. That is false. I'm not. I'm going to ask all of you if you have got this ticked on to tick it off, and restart later. The reason behind that is it's very unstable and it may cause your Roblox Studio to crash. The reason behind that is that it's experimental and Roblox really hasn't finished developing it yet. Uh, you can keep track of that on the dev forum page that I'm going to list down below. You can keep track of the, C of the CSG V3 engine. And yeah, I will also probably make a video on that when it also fully comes out. But for now, we're going to stick to CSG2. The other CSG engine that was, um, that was uh, sent to me not too long ago by one of my good friends, Thomas J. Charlton, is the new CSG engine that is going to be coming out or the deprecation of the legacy CSG engine. So on this, it says, this has already been announced a long time ago, deprecation of, of the legacy CSG system, but it's finally time to let go of the legacy CSG system, CSG V1. CSG V1 will be deprecated on March 3rd, the 31st. After March 31st, you will no longer have to uh, have access to our CSG V1 system and will automatically be switching to the new system when, you're la when you launch Roblox Studio. They will not be, they will not be actually modifying um, vehicles, for example, or models that have been made using the CSG, uh, the first CSG engine, but they will be making uh, CSG V3 the default engine. So here is a list of a few pain points that were already reported. Color transfer of negated parts. CSG V3 will now, uh, has now the same behavior as the legacy CSG V1 system. Smooth edges. This, with the smoothing angle feature, CSG V2 and CSG V3 can be used to model smooth objects. Performance. 
we're working hard to improve your new engine, CSG V3, which has a better performance. Try it out. So still, I'm going to be not using CSG V3. The reason behind that is I've already explained why, and I'm also used to CSG V2. So yeah. So now that uh, we've got now that we've got that out of the way, let's move on to the actual vehicles that we're going to be creating. So I'm sh I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with the site that I'm going to be choosing. It is called theblueprints.com. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to be searching up the actual blueprint in here. The reason behind that is that uh, the search engine inside the blueprints.com is very limited and doesn't have a, doesn't have very good uh, searching options. Whereas Google has got everything you need and you just need to type up what you need. So for example, we're going to be building a, um, let's build a Ford Explorer. Ford Explorer, the blueprints.com. You can click on that and now let's go to images and here you have all the blueprints you actually need so a lot of you will be will probably want to click on the first one you see so probably this one but what we're going to choose is we're going to choose the ones where you actually have the uh, the watermarks on them because the watermark blueprints are always the hd ones whereas these ones are low quality ones so we're going to click on the hd ones uh, we're going to right click inspect when you're in inspect element, you're going to come over to your inspect element and you're going to see this link here. What you want to do is you're going to want to right click, edit as HTML, uh, edit as HTML. You're going to want to double click on it, right click, go to, and now you have the actual blueprint in HD. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click, save image as, you're going to want to save it wherever you want so i'm going to save it in my blue in my blueprint folder and now you would have it down here next you're going to exit out of this window and you're going to come down to roblox studio so if you are in my discord you would have seen this this plugin all over the place and it's called local file importer you can either find it in my discord if you're already in there or you can find it down in the description down below but you're going to want to when you've installed that you're going to click open and here you have local file importer next you're going to want to click import images and here you have my i have my uh, blueprints folder i haven't saved it in my blueprints folder actually i saved it in my downloads folder so we're going to go in downloads and we're going to click on this here we're going to double click on it please keep in mind that local file local file importer does break from time to time so um you may actually have to um, import it a few times before it actually works. For me, I think that that's it. Yep, that's it. So you're going to just click on it and click on the brick where you actually want to import it to. And then it will create a decal for you. Next, this is one of the very important steps that you need to keep in mind, and that is your sizing. Your sizing matters and your sizing will do everything for your car. If you don't get the sizing correct, your car will be all over the place. So for your sizing, what you want to do is you want to size your blueprint out how you like. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a block. Make sure you are on 0.05 studs. You're going to rotate it around to face. So these, um, these two red... Um, how it handles here need to be on this side and this side of the car. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the part and the properties and you're going to go down to size. And where you see the greatest number, so the biggest number, is often, not often, it is the largest side of the brick. So the red handles. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into here and you're going to change it to either seven or eight. And that is the size that your car is going to be at. You can always go into plugins and uh, have a look at um, at the size using a block rig. 
but often it's not needed because it's a perfect size as you can see just it's the perfect size for the characters so now what you're going to do is you're going to size your blueprint down to the actual uh, size of the brick so you're going to want to center your brick perfectly in the in the middle of the car and now what you're going to do is you're going to go on into home scale <clears throat> and now you're going to hold the blue arrows hold control and then it's going to size the two sides down for you and you just need to size it down by letting go of control sizing sizing it down letting go of control and then you can size it to how you want <clears throat> And then you have your vehicle sized. You have to, I consider uh, sizing it to the actual body and not the actual frame. As you can see, it comes out here. Because on vehicles, if I go into the toolbox and we search up Ford Explorer, wait for the mesh to load in. As you can see on the Ford Explorer, it comes out here, which is inaccurate because it doesn't actually come out. The only thing that does come out is the wheel well. Wheel, the wheel well is this here. And it comes out because the wheel, um, it's the design of the vehicle basically. So, as you can see, it comes out here, which is inaccurate because in Roblox you don't have that. It's completely flat. So that's why you need to size it to the actual vehicle uh, body. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to bring that up to here, the middle of your front part of your vehicle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to size the front of your vehicle. So the front facing part. So duplicate that, hold control, press R to rotate it. And then you bring it to the front of your vehicle. So what people don't get is that this, these two parts here will construct the size of your vehicle. This will construct the front facing part. This will construct the actual body. So if you think of, if you size this, this is already correctly sized, but as you can see, it stretches the car out itself. And that will create the actual size of your vehicle. And there you go, you've got that sized. Now, I always consider dragging this down and placing it here as well. And I will show you why in a minute. Now let's get on to setting up the faces of the vehicle. So what you're going to do is you're going to select all of that. You're going to press Control D to duplicate. Grab your rotate tool and rotate it up like this. Once you've done that, you can you can move this down here and make sure that the wheels are stuck down to the face of the blueprint. You're going to press Control D again, rotate it three times by pressing Control R. And next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place it here. There you go. Now you can get. Now you can just um, you can group that. And now you're going to come back to this part here. You're going to select all the bricks that are on this cut vehicle itself, and you're going to come and stick the vehicle, this this vehicle's blueprint, to the side of this car here. When you've done that, you can do the rest for this. You could do the same thing for this. That is not perfect, so you're just going to move it over. That's perfect. Control D, Control R, and move it so the front facing part is against it again. And you're going to want to move it up so the wheels are uh, stuck against this and there you go you have set your vehicle up
And this is what you're going to use to actually make your vehicle. Next, what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to select all of this and group. You're going to select everything again, deselect all your br blueprint parts. And the only part you're going to keep is this part here and press, press escape. And then you have set up your vehicle this back as well and there you go you've set up your vehicle's blueprint so yeah this is going to end part one i hope you did enjoy i will be uploading part two very very soon and uh yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next part goodbye